longer. In 1848, Phineas Gage was working as a crew member cutting a railroad bed in Vermont. On September 13th, Gage was wielding a tamping iron to pack explosive powder into a hole. The tamping iron was approximately 43 inches long and around 1.25 inches in diameter. This 13.25 pound tamping iron shot towards him and ended up penetrating through his left cheek. The tamping iron ripped into his brain and exited through his skull. Despite being blind in his, in his left eye, it is said that he did not even lose consciousness. Gage, being able to survive from such traumatic injury, is still considered to be miraculous to this day, and his survival made the psychological community more curious to investigate and conduct studies for the scientists to understand more about the brain. So this information regarding Phineas Gage is still relevant to this day because his injuries have helped multiple scientists and psychological neurologists understand more about the brain and along with that, human behavior. Although he physically recovered, um, Phineas Gage's mental conditions permanently suffered as his character altered dramatically after his accident. Gage's friends stated that Gage was no longer himself after the accident. He was unable to stick to plans, he uttered profanity, and he displayed little deference for his fellows. The railroad company that originally employed him would no longer take him back afterward because of his unacceptable behavior that was altered. The damage to Gage's frontal cortex caused by the iron rod seems to have resulted in the loss of social inhibitions, which would explain Gage's behavior. Thanks to Gage, the functional the function of the frontal cortex is now well known as social cognition and decision making. His injuries have also provided some of the first evidence that the frontal cortex was involved in personality and behavior. Phineas Gage's tragic accident has made a psychological breakthrough as neurologists performed extensive experimental research into cerebral function.